Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're doing something that I've already done before, kinda. If you go to my channel and search for the most popular video, it's this one. Modeling a low poly character in 10 minutes in Blender. Quick Blender tutorial. It's got 92,000 views. Do you know how much that is? 340 comments, 2,300 likes, and only about 70 dislikes. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna create another low poly character, but this time in Blender 2.8. This is kinda updated, and I'm not trying to get more views at all. So if this is your first time working in Blender, I suggest you go watch my previous video that explains some of the shortcuts that I'm gonna be using in this video. So if I'm not telling you which shortcuts to use, go watch that video and everything should be explained very well there. But you got a cube, we have to make it a head. We'll have to add a modifier to this, so add a modifier. Uh, we'll add a subdivision surface to this, yeah, like this. And I will also add a loop cut in the middle like this, with Control R. And then you can use 1, 2, 3 to change between face, edge and uh, vertex select mode. And now I just want you to make this into a shape, uh, into a head shape. So take this front part, maybe move it a bit like, uh, a bit down like this. You can only model one side, we can use a mirror modifier to fix the, uh, to fix everything later. I will add another loop cut in the middle like this and then just move this a bit forward so it looks more like a head. Now what I want to do is uh, go press Z and go into wireframe mode and select the right side of the mesh or the left one. So depends on from which direction you're looking at. But just delete one side of the mesh. Once you do, press X and delete the vertices. Now you got half a head. Now you can go and add a mirror modifier, like this. So we only have to work with one side. Also enable clipping down here and apply the subdivision surface modifier. Something like this. Okay, maybe this a bit too much, so I'll just fix it like that. For the eyes right here, you can move them down and then move them a bit inwards like this. Because this nose is a bit too big. But this is pretty much a head shape. Now all we have to do is create a neck. So in edit mode, press 3 to go into face select mode. And maybe uh, just create this part that we're going to extrude the neck from a bit bigger. So maybe move this a bit forward, maybe move this a bit down. So the neck fits a bit better. Now you can select this face and press E to extrude, like this. Now to play around with this, you can uh, scale it, you can move it a bit forward maybe. Scale it on the Y axis, like that. I don't want to make it too long because I will extrude again. And now I will scale it on the X axis and this is actually kind of the, the, the body part. So we're moving on to the body. You should have something like this for now, and that is really good, if you did this. Now we have to get some kind of a body. So, face select mode, select the bottom face, press E to extrude, and maybe to about arm height. Now you can press SZ0 to uh, flatten it, and maybe move it a bit forward. If you take a look, this should be our chest, so what I'll do is, in edit mode, I'll just move these a bit forward and uh, hope that it looks good later. Also, the, arm, the arms will come through here, so what we have to do is select that with face select mode, press E to extrude and maybe scale it a bit like this, and these will be our arms later. But now, Again, select this uh, face and extrude once more. Press SX to scale on the x-axis and SY to scale on the y-axis and maybe move it a bit forward so the back kind of has this curve going here because when the butt comes in here then it's a nice curve. You can add another loop cut in here just to add a bit more detail. And maybe move it a bit in like this and this part a bit out. So you got something like this. Looks like a human for now. 
Now I'm going to move on to the legs first. I don't know why, but I like it that way. So we have to extrude once more from this bottom face. And we won't extrude much, just a little bit, like this. Now you can select this outer edge and move it inwards like this. And our legs will come out of here. So take this, press E and extrude the legs. I'll extrude the first uh, half of the legs, maybe like the, the quads or something. And I will also fix the butt because I can't look at this. It's disgusting. So I'll just move the butt a bit out. Like this. That's pretty much, that's pretty good actually. So for this part of the leg we want to add a loop cut in here and then again take this right edge and move it a bit outwards so it adds that leg shape and now we got the knee the way I like to do it is to select this face right here and extrude once more kinda for the knee once you've done that you want to extrude once more for the second part of the leg like this and probably scale it because it won't look good maybe move it a bit inwards like this and add another loop cut for the calves and you'll have to move those a bit back like this and then take this kind of a knee edge back edge right here and press G twice so you slide it and make it like this and press the other one again double tap G to slide it and give it some kind of a cool shape I'll take all of this here and maybe I'll just scale it on the x-axis a bit and maybe on the y-axis also I'll move it a bit up while we're at it I'll just take this front part and maybe just move it a bit uh, a bit forward like that that's pretty good once you've done that we want to get the feet the feet are probably the easiest so extrude take this face go to side view extrude get the foot size somehow right I don't know how to do that so I just go what, what feels right okay so this is way too thin so we'll take this uh, right side right here and we'll move it a bit outwards like that add a loop cut in the middle right here take this outer part and move it down and try to make it look like a foot maybe move this a bit back again you can use uh, GG to move this a bit forward and then uh, maybe do something like this and this looks like a foot I think those are some pretty nice feet for the knee I might bring it out a bit like this and maybe bring the back part a bit in and make it a bit smaller because I think it's a bit too big like that that's pretty good we're gonna go for the T pose here so select this face for the arm extrude once this will be the bicep thing maybe you can press S X 0 to flatten it like this and for the bicep I want you to scale it on the Z axis and I want you to fix the shape right now because this is not really a square arm so we'll have to fix that so it's a bit more matching you can take this face and extrude once scale that so it looks a bit like this and extrude once more scale it again that's kind of the arm shape that you're looking for I think this is a bit too thin so what I'll do is I'll go into wireframe mode with Z select this part that I don't like and press S and Y to scale it on the Y axis maybe that's it that's pretty good for the shoulders I was thinking I bring them out a bit like this and maybe bring this in so everything looks pretty good these are the arms and now we have to do the uh, hands 
So what you can do is you can go for the very low poly hands that we made last time. And those were just kind of squares like this. So what I did is I scaled it like this and these were the hands. I'm going to make a bit more detailed hands right now. So from this arm I want to extrude once. And this will be the palm, right? Maybe scale it on the z-axis, move it a bit up like this. Okay. Once we have that, I want to extrude the fingers. So just extrude, scale it, maybe move it up, right? And I of course want to scale this on the y-axis. So I'll take uh, all these faces right here for the fingers, which is a bit too big, but scale it on the y-axis like this. So it looks more like a hand right now. And now we need the thumb. So I'll add another loop cut here, extrude from here, scale it, go to top view with seven on the numpad, rotate this, extrude, scale, and you got yourself some kind of a thumb. Now I hate these, but uh, they work. So maybe you want to add uh, two more loop cuts in here for the fingers, once you're going to model them or uh, animate them. And try to move the knuckles a bit up or just scale them like that so it looks better. And for the wrist here, I will also scale that in a bit. So like that, maybe scale that in, move it up like that. That's pretty good. So that's our low poly character model for now. You can of course add more detail as always or you can just go ahead and add another subdivision surface and this actually looks pretty good. Also what you can do is you can go and add flat shading. If you press W you can go shade smooth and this looks pretty decent for some kind of a character or you can just use shade flat. Depends on you. But I'll just keep it like this and maybe we'll make a rig next time. If this helped you. Leave a like, comment down below, share it with your friends, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.